So in today's video, I want to answer your burning question of will I be purchasing a 2020 mid-engine C8 Corvette as well as with the leaked options that just came out last week. I wanted to do a fun video actually going through those options and specking one out myself, what I would buy as my specced out C8 Corvette if I was to order one. But to actually get right to the point, will I be purchasing a new C8 Corvette? And the answer is yes, most likely. I will try to order the new mid-engine Corvette. Now, there are a lot of factors that go into this. There are some big dealers that have already started taking pre-orders or allocation as far as your money up front to give you an allocation spot. But I have an individual that I kind of have in mind that I want to work with that's a little bit closer than some of the other big volume dealers and he has not started that process yet. So I have not done my allocation. I've not sent in my prepaid money uh, just quite yet. But the plan is yes, I do want to purchase a new C8 Corvette. And there's a couple of reasons, but the biggest is I'm just really impressed with what Chevrolet is wanting to do. See, the C6 Corvette that I owned before this Audi R8 was great. It was a Z51 2007 C6. It had 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, and it was a great car. Now, the inside needed a little bit of work, and I was able to upgrade the inside with a better touchscreen navigation, airplay kind of unit, and then we did some other exterior modifications. We put in carbon fiber, rear spoiler, we did a upgraded exhaust, which made a huge difference, as well as an upgraded air intake. And all of those made that car an absolute beast. I was really impressed with what I paid $25,000 for out of the value I got. Now, before I actually purchased the C6, I did test drive a C7, because that's kind of what I was looking at. And then I've since then been in several others. And that car is very, very impressive. But GM and Chevy, they are not stopping there. See, with the highest end Corvette, the C7 ZR1, they are starting to get diminishing returns. And what I mean by that is the platform that they've used forever is starting not to be able to handle the power. The engine being in the front, being a rear wheel driven vehicle, and they're wanting to push the limits. And they probably should have done this a long time ago, but they're finally going to be moving the engine from the front to the rear. And what that will allow them to do is get much better weight distribution for handling as well as better weight distribution for putting down all of that power. And whether you're really happy about this or a lot of people are not, um, I really think GM is going to do a great job of that. But they have a lot to prove. This is a major change for them. And I can't wait to see what they finally unveil. But again, to answer your question, yes, I would like to order a 20 2020 C8 mid-engine Corvette. And from there, I'm going to share it with you guys. I really enjoy making content for this channel. This channel's grown way more than I thought. It's still a very small channel, but it's it's just become a lot bigger than I was expecting over the time period that I've been working. It's just a fun side hobby, but I love everything cars. And this Audi R8 has been a joy to own. And to be completely honest, I think I will keep it. Now, depending on the price point, and I still think that the C8 Corvette's going to be very affordable in the base version. Um, I will probably keep this car. If it ends up being really expensive, but the C8 Corvette is just incredible, the R8 may go. I don't know. It depends on a lot of factors as far as pricing, what I can spend insurance, uh, a lot of variables that I have to actually calculate to see whether I'll keep both vehicles. But I do love this car. And this is another reason I really wanted to buy the new mid-engine Corvette because this is the first mid-engine vehicle I owned. Being the engine in the rear, it really handles completely differently and it looks incredible. The looks of the car, it just stands out. And those are a bunch of factors that make a car a really big joy to own and drive. So now that I've answered that question for you guys, let's go ahead and do the fun stuff and spec out a new C8 Corvette. Now, if you haven't followed my latest videos, the leaked options for the new C8 Corvette were leaked, I think the end of last week and I made a video talking about it over the weekend. And so now seeing those leaked screen images, we can actually spec out our own. And while doing that, I'm going to talk you through some of the new options they have, as well as some of the previous and kind of see what that process might look like. Okay, so the first image that you're going to see on your screen is actually what the ordering form looked like for the individual that leaked this, uh, this information. Now, his name, as you can kind of see, first name Chris, last name Smith, 
That's where a lot of people, I think, thought that this movie was a hoax, but a lot of things are checking out. So this could have been where someone didn't want their actual name to be filled in. Obviously, if they were gonna be leaking it, they don't wanna be outed. So uh, this is a pretty big deal, but it also gives us an idea of what they may be going for in terms of specking. Mine is gonna be different, but you can see on here that they've gotten a lot of their options kind of picked out. Now, let's look at the package. So usually with the base Corvettes, we have the 1LT, the 2LT, and the 3LT. I did a lot of research because again, I was looking at possibly buying a C7 before I purchased my C6 Corvette. And as far as package goes, I really wanted to purchase the 2LT. It looked like it was the best bang for your buck package. It gave me the heated and cooled seats, a few other things that I really wanted, but those were the, the big things that you got over the 1LT. A lot of the things on the interior really come in the same from all of the package systems that you kind of order from. Now, the big question is what color will I go? And there's several different colors to pick from, and we don't even know if these are all just the only ones that are gonna be there. A lot of people have said there's 12 colors colors and there are a few new ones. This individual actually picked one of the new ones and that's that Accelerate Yellow Metallic. And I am a sucker for metallic colors. I really like gray as you can see. This is a psychedelic gray that I have on my Audi R8 from the wrap. But they have three different metallic grays. However, if I do spec out this C8 Corvette, I'm probably gonna go a little bit crazier and I'm probably gonna go for the Sebring Orange. And I've seen it in person on a ZR1 and it looks fantastic, it looks really good, and I'm really impressed with over black wheels, how good the car looks and its stance overall. And the best part is, is I've told you guys I'm really in love with this vinyl wrap, I can always vinyl wrap it, this satin flip psychedelic color if I want, if the orange is just a little bit too much at times. The next big option is definitely going with the Z51 package. This is another thing that I did a lot of research on and it was a great package because you got a lot for the price that you spent on the C7. And with the new C8, we think it's gonna be a lot of the things that you get from the previous generation. We're talking bigger brakes, bigger sway bars, and bigger tires, as well as that active ride management system and that is a huge plus a lot of people praised the active ride system from the c7 corvette and obviously if they push that forward to the new c8 corvette that is absolutely what i want now if i do end up going with the sebring orange tint coat then i'm probably going to go with the black wheels and i'm probably going to go with a pretty basic black with carbon interior color. I, the, the red adrenaline red would not look very good with the orange and a couple of the other options it looks like from this list they have a shadow gray option which I'd have to see in person but most likely a jet black with some carbon inlay is going to be the route I'm going to go as far as interior. Another exterior option is to have a decal badging down the side. You can do like either a striped or some different type of badging. There is a carbon flash badging. It looks kind of interesting, or I should say sounds interesting. I gotta see what it looks like in person, but I'm usually not a huge fan of decaling. It's something I can do after the fact if I really like it, and I'd prefer just to come from the factory base with no decaling on the car. Oh, one other thing I did want to actually mention was I definitely would look at getting the performance exhaust system. The, the NPP exhaust system that was on the previous C7 was also given a lot of praise. A lot of people really liked that system. Now, I may still go aftermarket exhaust. See, the C6 Corvette I had, the aftermarket exhaust was incredible. It was a Billy Boat Fusion X system and it just was incredible. The straight pipe system that also could be have the flaps in it where I could change it to a quieter mode, it really blew me away in terms of the change from just the really quiet stock uh, exhaust. Now, we did have that leaked video of the C8 Corvettes leaving like a gas station or facility, and a couple of them sounded really good. They could be the higher end C8 Corvettes that they're already testing. Uh, I'm really curious to see what the base C8 sounds like. With the C7 being a little too quiet, it times with that NPP exhaust helped a bunch from the get-go. Some of the other options that you're going to see on here that you got from the previous uh, C7 Corvette was obviously some of the different interior options with the seat bolstering as well as the performance recorder and a few other electronical devices. Now we don't know exactly what the center console is going to look like in terms of it's going to be some sort of colored screen but we don't have all of those options just quite yet.
Now I did mention that I'm gonna go with a jet black interior. I will be going with a leather over a suede interior. Uh, suede looks like it's a huge option on the new upcoming C8 Corvette. I'm just not a huge fan. Suede is kind of that going towards like an Alcantara look and feel, and I really just prefer leather. I know leather stands up to time, and if this is gonna be a car I buy as a daily driver for the most part, then I want something that's gonna handle really well over a long period of time. One thing with Alcantara and Suede, it looks cool, it's neat, it's kind of the new trending thing, but if you go and look, a lot of people that have Alcantara wheels, if they drive the car a lot, it breaks down or the Alcantara inserts on their seats, they wear down faster. Leather is just a much more robust material and that's probably what I'm gonna go on my C8 Corvette. Now, the next option that I wanna talk about is a huge one, and I cannot wait to see it on the new C8 Corvette. It's been a long time coming. It's much more of a option that we see on other higher-end exotics, and that's the new adjustable front lift system. Now, the C6 I owned was pretty low, and the R8 I own is just as low, and you see a lot of times where you don't realize how easy it is to scrape the front of these cars. If you've never owned a true sports car and you've always driven, you know, normal cars that have a higher ride height, you don't realize how low these cars get. And there's times when you go into a kind of a turn in and you just realize you can't make the on-ramp. It's just too much of an angle and you have to go around. It can be a huge hassle. You have to be very, very careful or you can scrape the whole front of your car. And when you start talking about these carbon front splitters, you don't wanna be scraping those up all the time. So that new adjustable front lift system is a huge plus and will absolutely be an option that I order on my C8 Corvette. Now, one of the big options I wanna talk about is the transmission. What transmission am I going to order for the C8 Corvette? And honestly, you only have one option and it's confirmed there on the option page and that is a new eight speed dual clutch transmission. I think it's gonna be fantastic and it's gonna do wonders for the shift times. A lot of people praised the eight speed in the previous single clutch transmission of the C7. They said it was pretty quick, but it wasn't on par with a true dual clutch system. Well, now the Corvette is getting a true dual clutch and that's why you see a higher gear, a taller gear ratio for the upcoming C8 Corvette. But unfortunately, that does mean that we are not gonna be getting a manual transmission, at least at the start. Now, we have heard rumors of a patent pending for a clutch by wire system. And if that becomes the case, if they end up coming out with a manual transmission, it may be something that I look at swapping out. If I buy an auto at the beginning, an eight speed automatic, and I'm just not super happy with it, maybe moving over to a manual. If that becomes a possibility down the road, that's something that I could look at doing. But as of now, it looks like my specking out of the C8 Corvette is gonna have to stay a dual clutch transmission. Now, one thing I also wanna add to that is it does look like we got an eight speed. A lot of people talked about a Trimec seven speed dual clutch we could be looking at, but we did get one extra gear in eight speed. So that's kind of interesting to note. Now, as I go through here, I can see that there's some other small things like sensor and heads up display as well as it looks like they've also got some sort of like uh, park assist and side blind zone alert. So all of those things will be nice to add on to it. It'll probably be in the different packages that'll probably determine whether I get a 1LT, 2LT, or a 3LT package. This person that's ordering on here has the 3LT and they have the GT2 seats um, with the trim leather and they went with the Morello Red. So kind of an interesting uh, setup that this person has, especially with that accelerate yellow, yellow metallic color. The last thing I do wanna talk about is the roof. Um, am I going to go with a transparent roof, uh, just a regular roof? That all depends on whether I'm gonna go coupe or convertible. I probably will go coupe unless it is a hard top convertible. I'm not a huge fan of soft top convertibles. It's just not really what I prefer. I really like a hard top. So that would be the only way I would order a convertible and that would change whether I go with a transparent roof or not. Now, if I do go coupe, I'm probably gonna go, it looks like you have some sort of carbon fiber inlay transparent roof, even a double transparent roof. I don't know exactly uh, what the difference is. They'll probably bring that out when the car's unveiled, but I will 
will go with a carbon inlay. I love carbon, I'm a sucker for carbon. And even though it's overused, I think in a lot of applications of vehicles today, even in lower end um, with this kind of fake carbon fiber, it still is really, really neat to add to the interior and I think it looks really nice. Well everyone, there you have it. That is the specking out of my C8 mid-engine Corvette and I cannot wait till that process actually happens and I will share it all with you guys on the channel. So make sure you hit subscribe if you have not already and join me in this next phase that we will have for our channel. You know, we have a lot of content coming up this summer that I'm gonna do with my Audi R8, but I truly appreciate your guys' support. Now, I do wanna know, how will you guys be specking out your C8 Corvette? You saw all of the pictures. You can go out there and now spec your own out. Whether you're gonna buy one or not, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. So make sure you drop that in the comments below. If you do have any questions or concerns, drop them below as well. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Support me, I would truly appreciate it. You all take care, I'll see you next video.